in this episode, an updated version of a fun stream game. Will your chat be brave enough to play the timeout roulette? Hello and welcome to Streamer Bot Bites, where I cover how to set up and to make the most of the awesome Streamer Bot. There is one video per topic to make it easy as possible to follow and find. When relevant, sample import code will be provided to make it even easier for you to get started and to add functionality to your stream. So let's get started with the topic for this video. Installing Timeout Roulette is incredibly easy. Get the import code from the description below. In Streamerbot, select the import action at the top. Paste in that string. You'll see here you get two actions and one command. Just click on import and there it is installed. The command is there by default. You may want to change this command to a channel point reward. You may want to change the command name. Please note you've got a default of a global cooldown of zero seconds and a 20 second cooldown for the user. So the user can only trigger the command once every 20 seconds. If you want to configure the chances of the time roulette so it's less than or greater than the default, the random number line is the one you need to change. By default, it's one out of 10 that's going to get the chance. If you get a miss, it'll be two out of 10, three out of 10 and so forth. So if you want to change that chance from one in 10 to one in five, you change this 10 to a five. By default, there is a sound event here but there's no sound file included. I'll have a link to this file that I've used. It's on free sounds, and that's in the video description below as well. But feel free to add events to make more of a celebration or commiseration, should I say, of someone uh, being hit with a timeout. And now let's have a walkthrough of the actions. The miss action is the first one to look at because it's really super simple. It purely sends a message to Twitch, just notifying that there's a sigh of relief, will there be as lucky next time. It then increments the temporary global of miss shots by one. So miss shots is a way we track how many times it's missed to change the chances to increase each time. In the main action, we get this miss shots variable with a default value of one. So it's not been one yet, it'll set it to one. If it's been incremented from the miss, it'll be whatever value's been set by that increment. We notify chat that we're starting the timeout roulette process. We then get a random number. Now if you want to change the chances here, you can change the number 10. So it starts off with one in 10 by default, and each time it misses, it goes two in 10, three in 10, etc. If you want to change that to be one in five, you can change five. Alternatively, you could have it much larger. So chat are there for less likely to hit the timeout and it could be a bit more fun that way. So it depends on what you want to get from this. What it does then is it compares the random number it's got along the missed shots. If it's greater than a number, we call the miss code and stop. But if it's less than or equal to that number, we will then effectively kick off the timeout, starting off with a message to chat, saying the button makes a buzzing sound and the user hits himself with a timeout. We get the value for the redeemer of roulette. This is the count of how many times have been timed out. This may look a bit weird why we do it this way, where we get the value twice in this line and one below. But if it's not been set before, we need to set that default value, which is what we're doing here. If it's not been timed out before, they're going to start off with zero. We'll then increment that by one. We'll then get the value again to be able to use that value. We then play a sound here. This sound is not included as part of the import. However, there's a link in the video description of where to get that. We then kick out the timeout user option. 10 seconds is what's by default, you can change that. And you can also exclude moderators. 
The reason here at the moment is not able to be filled in, but in the next version of Streamerbot, this has been fixed. So you could put the reason as timeout roulette. So you can also look at your logs and see that they've been timed out as part of a game and it's nothing serious. Finally, another message to chat saying that they've been timed out how many times and we reset the missed shots back to one. Please like and subscribe to be notified of more videos like this. If there's a topic you'd like covered, please do let me know in the comments or on Discord. Check out my Twitch stream to see the bot in action and for other examples. The links to my Twitch, social media and to streamerbots can be found at vrflad.com. Additional links to others that provide streamerbot content can be also found in the description. Finally, thank you Nate for making a great bot and please consider supporting his Patreon which is linked from streamer.bot.